Good Monday, Makers, and Happy New Year. Hope everybody's having a good New Year's Day and is looking forward to the future. I know I'm really excited for Maker Pipe in 2024 because we've got new connectors on the horizon. We're working on a new community. There's all kinds of cool stuff that really happy and looking forward to in 2024. But before we get excited about the future, I like to take a look back every year at the previous year's builds. And there's a lot of great ones in 2023. And I put together a full slideshow of all the builds from 2023. And you can check that out. I'll link it in the description. But I also wanted to do a normal Maker Pipe Monday roundup. And we're going to stick to a theme this year instead of going through all 250 builds, because that would take me a while because you know I talk a lot. But instead, I've picked out like 20 builds that are just really wild or unique or just really surprising because you can make a lot of things with the empty conduit. If you watch that slideshow, you'll find out exactly all kinds of different stuff that you can make. But you know, some things we kind of expect, you know, garden trellises, we see a ton of desk, we see some of those. So there's something you kind of expect people to make. But every once in a while, we'll get a build that somebody shares and it just blows us away because it's really creative or unique. And so today I picked out 20 of those from 2023 that we're going to go through kind of rapid fire. I'm not going to show you how to make them or anything like that because they're pretty you know, wild, like I said, and not too many people are probably going to be recreating them. So let's just go through and we'll enjoy looking at those. And then, like I said, you can check out that slideshow if you want to see a whole bunch of stuff that people have made with the MT Conduit from 2023. But first up is this Asian moon gate and Gary shared this and basically this is just meant to be a gate into like an entryway into a garden but it's super cool because it's just a giant circle uh, that you can walk through and it's just really creative and just something like I said just wouldn't have expected somebody would be making with the MT conduit and maker pipe connectors but it looks fantastic and I imagine was pretty challenging to put together to achieve that arch that looks that good because uh, even whenever we did the calculator and the bending tutorial it was still pretty challenging to get you know a perfect circle so this is really cool and just looks fantastic and again it's just one of those things never would have expected but we're super glad that it worked out for your project and we really appreciate you sharing so thanks so much gary next up is a project from keith and this is a holiday light show frame. Now, you might be thinking, Jake, you just did two roundups with holiday light show frames. Check those out if you're interested. And you're right. But this, <laughs> this is a false roof, a second story roof. So you look at this picture and you're like, oh, it's a two story house with lights all over it. But really, it's a one story house and it's got a fake roof on the second story that simulates, you know, this second story, and that they can put lights on for the light show. And it's super complex. I can't imagine how much time and effort went into this. But it's just <laughs> crazy, but super cool that they put this together and made this. And yeah, just one of those builds that just kind of blows you away when you see it. So thanks so much, Keith, for sharing this. We love seeing it. Next up is a build, another one that I never would have guessed in... <laughs> Uh, it would have taken me a long time to, to, to come up with this if I even ever would have said this. But this is an entertainment center, center for a taxi cab. So Mike put this together, I guess has a taxi, uh, and wanted to provide the people riding you know, an entertainment center. So he built this out of the empty conduit and maker pipe, and it's just a small little entertainment center with a mini PC, a monitor, a little miniature keyboard, and just one of those things this is super cool. Like I said, never would have guessed it. It's got shrink wrap on it, yellow and black, like the classic taxi colorway. It's just really creative and super cool. Thanks so much, Mike, for sharing this. Next up is uh, this project from Jeff. And this isn't really a project. This is a repair. And I love this. I remember when this was shared a while back, earlier in the year. And basically, Jeff had this snowblower and the handle... The, the hardware that was on the handle was really cheaply made, and it broke. And like most things made nowadays, couldn't get replacement parts for it. They wanted him to buy a whole new snowblower, but he's like, no, I'm not going to do that. So he got some maker pipe couplings and basically just added the, the handle back on and reinforced it with the couplings, added bolts through, and basically repaired his snowblower with, you know, just two couplings. Was able to, you know, make use and repair this instead of throwing out the snowblower or figuring out something else. <laughs> so really cool. Thanks so much, Jeff, for sharing that. Next up is one that really blew me away the first time I see it, really every time I see it. This is a pop-up camper. We'll go through. He shared a ton of photos, and this was shared by Charles. He's got a flatbed truck, and he built a pop-up camper. 
And here you can see some custom 3D printed uh, pulleys that he made and attaches to the frame. Here's all of the intricate bins and connectors. And as you can see, it basically go goes from this condensed frame all the way up into this full size camper. And as you can see, he made it so he could walk inside and stand up and <laughs> so cool. And here it is on the back of the flatbed truck, fully extended in camper mode. Here he's got a bed inside, a workbench, storage. And then here it is in stowaway mode where it's kind of folded down and kind of half the height. And it matches the height of the truck cab. Uh, <laughs> just one of those, uh, again, just something never would have guessed. But super creative, really ingenious, and just amazing. So thanks so much, Charles, for sharing that. Next up is a wagon from, I forget, uh, Gerson was his name. Yeah, Wagon from Gerson. And this is incredible because, you know, it's just, uh, you know, rectangular shaped wagon, but the front mechanism, they made this wagon able to steer using a really creative uh, kind of, I don't even know what you call this, control arm or steering box in the front. And it, it utilizes a couple different sizes of EMT, I believe. And it's really crazy. And there was a video that they shared kind of breaking this down, but I couldn't find it. I'll be sure to link it down below if I can find it. Um, but this was just really crazy because it's just so cool that they made it where it would actually steer and you could adjust the wagon. Like some of the carts we see are really cool, but not a lot of them have steering built in. So this was just really awesome. Thanks so much, Gershon. Gerson for sharing that. Next up is this <laughs> Pex uncoiler, uncoiler from Robert. And this is really creative. So apparently on the job site, he said having these big rolls of Pex when they're you know doing plumbing and underground uh, plumbing and things at job sites, it's really annoying to unspool the Pex. So they made this uh, and it, it basically hangs from the, uh, like a bobcat or something. They use these chains to elevate in the air and then this rotates and spins around so they can just grab onto the Pex and uncoil it. And so many creative things in here to accomplish that. You know, the washers uh, around the conduit to create the, the hinge or the rotating mechanism. And just so much about this that is just fascinating and a super cool idea. But I can see how this would be incredibly useful on the job site. So really cool, Robert. Thanks so much for sharing this. Next up is another trailer camper for, or another camper from Charles. And this one is for a trailer. This one doesn't pop up, but it's kind of set in place. And I believe the truck that the original pop-up camper was for broke down and he was coming up on his annual camping trip and had to come up with something so he built this bantam trailer camper as you can see here it's really cool and kind of compact a lot smaller than the one on the flatbed truck but but really cool nonetheless and basically just has some verticals going around and then just kind of built the whole camper around the shell of this trailer really amazing so much so many cool things from charles in these builds but really appreciate you sharing those Next up is a build from Robert, and this is called a dibber, I learned after sharing this on social media and somebody commented. But basically, this is just a, a little gadget that Robert put together, and as you can see, there's a grid system here for even planting of seedlings. It basically just grabs that tool and then stamps in the ground and creates a grid system for planting seedlings. <laughs> Like I said, unexpected builds. I, I don't even know what a dibber is, much less know that somebody was going to share this build. So really cool, really unexpected, but a really creative use of conduit and connectors to make this dibber for gardening and planting seeds. So really cool. Thanks so much for sharing that. Next up is one that blew me away when the first time I saw it. These are Polaris Ranger doors. So this was shared by Kenneth. And he said that doors can range anywhere from 1000 up to, I think, $1,500. And he said he made these for $450. Basically, this EMT conduit, I guess he got hinges that are made specifically for the doors. And then he used, I think, half-inch EMT conduit to make the skeleton of the door. And then HDPE sheeting for, and then even some plexiglass in there for the window. Uh, to basically make the skin of the door. Added a door latch and everything. And you can open and close it and... Polaris Ranger doors out of EMT conduit. I mean, <laughs> so wild, but so cool. So really cool, Kenneth. Thanks so much for sharing that one. Next up is a prop used in a production of Clue, and this was shared by Mel. And this is really amazing. Uh, I never would have expected somebody to make a conduit chandelier, but as you can see, it is really amazing. It's got a full circle uh, bend in it. I think they used the Harbor Freight tubing roller. Yeah, there you can see it. And they used a ton of connectors. They painted it. 
And uh, yeah, here it is, painted gold. They've got the the beads or the the jewels, the fake jewels, or maybe they're real. No, I'm just kidding. The fake jewels <laughs> uh, strung up between them, and uh, just really cool, just awesome, creative prop from Mel. So thanks so much for sharing that. Next up is a cart corral, and this was built uh, by Steve for a Habitat for Humanity. I mean, this one might be kind of obvious because you know you see a cart corral, it's tubular and whatnot, but for the Habitat for Humanity, they're working within a specific budget. They don't want to pay a couple thousand dollars for a cart corral, so they just put one together with one-inch EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. And, you know, just like you'd put a buggy in the corral, they made one out of conduit, so wild, but so cool, and pretty simple overall, but achieves what they were after, and just really amazing. So thanks so much, Steve, for sharing that one. And here we've got a telescope trolley, and this is from Terry, and you can see here he's got this shed that he keeps the telescope system in. He's working under a grant from NASA, uh, which is really cool. And he has this rail system that he slides the telescope in and out. And basically, he built a part of the platform with the EMT conduit, as you can see here. And there's just so many cool things in this. He has a website. I'll be sure to link down below, and you can find out more information but just really awesome. We love being a part of people's hobbies because we know everybody is interested in different things and has all kinds of cool hobbies and interest. And it's really awesome to see Conduit and Maker Pipe incorporated into them like this. So thanks so much, Terry, for sharing this. Love seeing it. Next up is a really simple build or project, not even really a project, but just kind of a hack that Randy shared. Randy's super clever, has all kinds of cool stuff that he shares in the community. And this was an extension arm that he put together. I think originally was so he could uh, put, yeah, the scraper, I think second story, like roof eave, wanted to knock mud dauber nests down, but couldn't reach them. So he used a 45 degree connector directly around the handle and then was whacking, uh, you know, the, the nest off of the roof eave, which is just really cool. And then he shared a follow-up where he realized he could put a mini paint roller in there and reach a really high ceiling. So just something never would have expected somebody to to make with a connector uh, but just really cool to see nonetheless. So thanks so much, Randy, for sharing that one. Next up is a sheep foot treatment cart. And I guess the cart itself is not really something unexpected, but the, the use of it is really unexpected. So he puts this between two sheep paddocks, and he's got this system down here. I imagine there's some kind of you know cleaning solution, not cleaning solution, but like soap or something uh, that kills bacteria because he doesn't want the sheep feet to get bacteria. Apparently, there's like some kind of infection or disease they can get. So this is basically made so they can run over and run through here and clean off their feet as they run through. So <laughs> really cool. And didn't even know that was the thing that you had to be careful of. And just really awesome that somebody uh, found Maker Pipe and Conduit and used it for something like this. Because like I said, it's not something, you know, we didn't do any marketing trying to reach people that are trying to make sheep foot treatment carts. Uh, so it's cool that I was able to find Maker Pipe for this project. And it's just a really great cart. Four wheels. It's got arches. It's got, you know, plywood in there to kind of corral and, and, and tunnel uh, the sheep between the paddocks. And just really amazing. So thanks so much for sharing this, Paul. Love seeing it. Next up is a go-kart, and we've seen a couple of go-karts over the years, but this one is really fascinating because Mario wanted to make everything out of EMT conduit, or as much as possible. He didn't want to buy spindles or something for a go-kart normally and then convert that to conduit, so instead he actually made the spindles, the steering mechanism, even the steering wheel is all made with EMT conduit and maker pipe, which is just fascinating and, and really smart, all the stuff he came up with, especially for the spindles and the steering knuckles and everything. Just really amazing, and it's one of those projects that blows you away, just the creativity of people. He's done a couple of videos on this that I'll link down below that you can check out and see you know, the full breakdown of the frame. And I think he did a breakdown of the steering wheel and the controls that he added, as well as I think he's using a hoverboard motor <laughs> to power it, and, or not really power it, but for the motor. And then it's a, a drill battery powered. So just really amazing stuff that he's doing. So definitely check out those videos. And I really appreciate you sharing these, Mario. Next up is a support pole for a sunflower. So plant trellises, like I said, are something that were, you know, pretty 
we expect to see pretty often because it's a, a really simple project that solves a really big problem for a lot of gardeners. But this is one made specifically for sunflower stalks. And this is just an adjustable pole that he put together. It has an eye hook at the top and several different things that make it adjustable and it supports a sunflower. And I never would have guessed somebody was going to make a support pole for a sunflower stalk. Uh, so that's really cool. Love seeing this one, Gary. Super creative. Next up is another prop and a giant bird cage made for a marching band. I think it was the Mighty Panther Band. Brian shared this. And this is just a giant bird cage. You can see part of the color guard and marching band uh, routine. I guess they're dressed up as birds and they wanted a giant or needed a giant bird cage. So they made one with the EMT conduit and maker pipe and then painted it gold and voila, giant bird cage for a marching band show. <laughs> Super creative and just really awesome. Thanks so much, Brian, for sharing that. Next up is one that was shared recently, and this is a truck bed tent or a truck bed canopy. And you see this, you're like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's got a topper on the back of the truck, pretty normal. You know, you can keep stuff inside and protected from the weather and elements. But no, in fact, this is more than that. This is a transformer. You can open the lid, slide out the extension, swivel up the, the tailgate part and turn it into a full-fledged tent or canopy that you can cook in. And I think even there's probably enough room to sleep in here and you can camp or just have a nice covered area. If you're you know going on a hike, you want a nice covered area to have lunch or something. Who knows? But this is really awesome and super creative. So much stuff in this uh, that was put together by Gary. So really cool. Thanks so much for sharing this really awesome project. Last but not least is another project that was shared recently by Eric Trofotter on Instagram. And this is a conduit trebuchet. And we put together a trebuchet a couple years ago, and it doesn't even compare in the slightest to this trebuchet because this one has got engineered parts. He even made a mini scale model, as you can see with the Maker Pipe Minis. The control arm here, I mean, there's manufactured pieces that were laser cut. I don't even know where to begin breaking down all of this, this stuff because there's just so many cool things and just really genius engineering for this. And it was safer and better than the previous year's like super heavy steel ones that they made. And so many just creative things went into the engineering of this and just super amazing. And then here you can see, here it is in action. I think we get a slow-mo clip of it launching. And they use this at their church, Pumpkin Chunkin' Night. I think for like a Halloween fall festival and it's got the, the counterweight. I mean, just everything that a good trebuchet has or needs uh, it, it's got. And here we can see there it goes <laughs> launching the pumpkin in the air. And <laughs> just wow, super cool, has a 70 pound counterweight and just so many cool things incorporated into this, Eric. So really appreciate you sharing it. And thanks, everybody, for posting your builds throughout the year. Like I said, if you want to see everything that was shared in the past year, or at least everything I could find, then check out that build slideshow. It'll be linked in the description. Happy New Year again, everybody, and thanks, everybody, for your business and support. We really appreciate the community, and we're looking forward to the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.